One of the great community resources in every town is the public library. East Moline has an amazing new library with even more of what you'd expect in a public library. Laura Long is director of the East Moline Public Library, proud as can be of her new place, which uh, I tell you what, I talk about a gorgeous spot. Yes. You had to have been thrilled when it got finished. Yes, I am absolutely thrilled. It has been such a long time coming and the citizens of East Moline definitely deserve this. So I'm so excited for them. It is really special. Let's talk about the location. Um, if, if you don't live in East Moline or you're just driving through, you're on the one way. We're on the one way. We're right next to the post office. Mm -hmm. So we're in between the post office and the brand new TBK Bank, TBK Bank branch. Yeah, there you go. Now look at it. Just look at that spot. It, your former library was across the street and much, so much smaller compared yes, to this. Yes, about half the size. Half the size. So first of all, what was the idea behind a new library? Why did East Moline want to, want to have a new one? Well, our building was about 100 years old, so it was very outdated. We were sort of shoehorned in there. It didn't fit modern library standards anymore. You know, we didn't have like tables for people to really sit at and study. We didn't have study rooms. We didn't have a, our meeting room was like in a basement oh, and it was yeah. dark. So we were really just looking for, uh, to bring modern amenities to East Moline. Well, the, uh, what strikes me about these pictures, Laura, is the light, mm -hmm. the light coming through those big windows. And just talk about a, a spot to just hang out. So let's uh, let's let's pitch library space as a place to hang out. Laura, what 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 is there to do there? Sure. Um, so we have study rooms where you can meet with your business partners, or you can borrow. We have something called an owl meeting camera, and it does a 360 view. So you can borrow our meeting camera and meet via Zoom with your friends or with your family in our you study rooms. You can. Yes. Do you need to bring in any of your own equipment? You do need a laptop okay. or uh, something that will do zoom for you got it all right good and then you so that's a nice spot to gather with how many people maybe at once uh, depending on the size of the room you can do a small group of like two to four or you could do up to 25 or 50 or 80. Did you grow up going to libraries a lot? Was this a I thing did. for you? I did. I yeah. did. Yes, it was definitely a thing. My mom and I used to take our Red Rider wagon and mm -hmm. walk down to the library and fill it up with books. So. Do you, are you? Do you ever fear that we we're, we're raising a generation of people who don't really? go to libraries. I mean, what, tell me about that. You know what? I don't. Um, I think that there's an ebb and flow in your life of when you use libraries. Um, you know, you come as a small child with your parents mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then um, we actually have an incredibly robust teen program and we have a ton of teens that come in and use it. Cool. But then it does sort of fall off a little bit when you're a young professional and you're starting. Mm -hmm. You haven't started a family yet. You're sort of doing the thing in your 20s, mm -hmm. um, but they come back. They do. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're all still readers. Especially if you have a library like that, you're going to come back. <laughs> and if, and if, you, if you don't normally go to a library on a regular basis and you think it's just books, it, well, books are wonderful. We, yes. We yeah. all, I mean, yeah. we're, not dis <laughs> we're not discounting books. But there is so much more as a community resource. Mm -hmm. You have all these programs. Like, I can't, I'm, I'm looking at your site and I can't believe what you offer. Yeah, we have a ton of really great, exciting programs. Um, we have a teen lit club that meets monthly. This month they're going to talk about uh, banned books and why mm. they're banned and sort mm. of what's going on with that in the news. Um, we have a uh, true crime club that actually meets at Midwest Aleworks and mm. they talk about unsolved crimes and try to see if they can figure out what's going on with that. That's only at the Aleworks? That's not, that's yeah. not in the library? <laughs> that is not in the library, but it is a library sponsored program. You we partner some, with them. You need some beer with that true crime <laughs> that's solving. Right. Okay. Um, and we have a lot of craft nights. Um, we're part partnering with early, uh, sorry, every child to do some parenting classes. And we're really, now that we have all this space in our new building, we're really looking to expand what we offer. And just one other thing, uh, ev nearly every town has a, a, some kind of library. Do you need to be an East Moliner? to go to the East Moline Library? You do not. Anybody can come in and mm -hmm. use our library. Uh, there are certain things that you have to have a library card to check out with, but mm -hmm. everyone is welcome to come in and use it. Well, with that, that is great news right there, Laura. The East Moline Public Library, brand spanking new, the most gorgeous space you can imagine. They're on 16th Avenue and East Moline. Drive by on the, on the one way. You're going to want to stop, I think. Laura, good to have you here today. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.